The IT landscape is ever evolving at the moment and there are a multitude of trends pushing IT to the future. You know, everything from infrastructure resilience, information security and cyber security, skills retention, cost control, multiple working patterns for employees and how organizations are even structured geographically and physically. But one of the biggest trends that are overarching all of these is the creation of the digital workplace. And the creation of the digital workplace really is about, well, how do we enable and empower the user to have access to the right information, to the right tools, to the right applications, so they can be the most productive that they can be, irrespective of the device they use, no matter where they are in the world, at home, in a coffee shop, on an aeroplane, in another country. In user experience has become pivotal to the performance of a business unit, a division, or the business as a whole. The major Apple advantage is simply that one company is building everything. The hardware, the software, the operating system, the components, and now more recently in the last four years, the actual chipset that goes into the device. One of the major comparisons we get in market is that, ooh, Apple is a lot more expensive and well, the Apple device doesn't come with as much resources as the PC counterpart. What people fail to understand is that the Apple computer doesn't need as much resource to operate efficiently. We saw this firsthand in 2021 where one of the large banks in South Africa embarked on a case study to understand well, what are the major differences between the Apple user and your normal PC user. What they found was close to a 90% satisfaction rate where with PC they generally didn't see anything over 58%. Machines were much more reliable, they lasted longer. The fact that Apple controlled the hardware, software, chipset, and the entire ecosystem of their product means that it is, by default, a more secure platform. You know, Apple devices, because of their build quality, carry an aspirational value. People actually take care of them and love those devices. The residual value inherent in those devices after three years means that organizations could then utilize those residual values to offset their next purchase. Users felt more empowered. The support costs were down because they didn't need IT. So gone were the days where they had to wait four hours for a ticket to be looked at by an IT technician, for someone to be called out, for someone to call them and sort of remote dial into a machine and try to solve the problem. People are also not using one device, they're using multiple devices. The fact that you know my emails are synced, my data is synced, the fact that I can be reviewing a contract, transfer it to an iPad and use the Apple Pencil to actually physically sign the document and email somebody back. All of those technologies are lending to the trends that are happening in the landscape at the moment. It's power to the user to choose their device, to work on a device that's most comfortable for them within the hours that they would like to work. An internal joke we have within the team is that when we walk into coffee shops, you can always spot the PC user because they're always looking for the plug point to plug in. A lot of people don't know that Macs actually have up to 21 hours battery life on a single charge. And that's while you're actually working for 21 hours. So you could be on video calls, you could be conferencing, you could be working in really complex spreadsheets, but on a single charge. Yes, we sell Apple devices. Yes, we love Apple devices, but that's not really the end goal. The way organizations use their money is changing. We're seeing a big trend moving away from CapEx to OpEx. We're going to continue to see hardware being adopted as a subscription-based service going forward. We don't advocate for, ooh, we need to take all of your PCs out of the business and replace them with Apple devices. That's never what we advocate. We also, at the school business, have a very strong focus on our technical competency and our ability to understand and integrate an array of business technology. It's about understanding, well, how do we work with organizations in a phased approach, the different divisions, the different teams, the different roles, what that person actually has to accomplish, what they need to do, what applications they use. And at the end of the day, to help them understand that there is actually a place for Apple devices. But again, with power to the end user, irrespective of what device is being used by the end user, it should affect their productivity.